guys, welcome to Freedom in a Budget. I'm Kelly and it is February 2019 budget report card time. This is where I break down line by line in my zero based budget of how we did in February. So it was a very good month in some aspects and a very bad month in other aspects. It was a very bittersweet month for us. For Jamie and I, my husband, we are um, dual income, no kids. And it was it was an interesting month. So just to let you guys know, I do follow a zero-based budget. So every single dollar has a name at the beginning of the month. And then at the end of the month, any leftover money at all has to go to a specific goal. So if you're paying off debt, then it would go towards debt. For us, we are debt-free and we are currently saving for a down payment on a house. We're saving $100,000 to put 20% down closing costs and then some minor upgrades that we are probably gonna have to do when we buy because that's just how it is in this area that we'll probably have to update the kitchen or the bathrooms or different things like that or the flooring. So we're gonna put some money in the budget for that for um, to have a hundred grand. So that is exciting. And we're looking to do that like mid next year. So mid 2020. Also, I do have this budget in a template for you guys. If you want to get it on my Etsy shop, it is $5. And this is a really great um, template. It's all done for you, all the formulas everything. I have a monthly template, an annual template. You guys have seen my annual budget and then also a wedding budget. So the same one that we used to cash flow our wedding. All right, so let's jump in. As always, our income from our day jobs is blocked out. Jimmy received per diem this month. He went on quite a few gigs. So he received $1,390. That is for his food and any like Ubers or anything like that that he has to do while he's on his gig. That's all comes out of his per diem. Cash back and interest, we received $161.86. So that is any um, cash back received with our sinking funds, or I'm sorry, interest that we receive on our sinking funds from our Capital One 360 account or any credit card cash back that all goes into that category right there. Side hustle. All right, let's talk about this for a minute. I do also have a blog post up of my side hustle for as well. So I'll have that linked down below in the show notes for you guys, a full blog post, but it was an awesome, awesome month. We hit record numbers with side hustle. So anything that's highlighted in orange here is for my business. So any business revenue that I received. Our goal for side hustle this month before was $1,000. We doubled that for our goal was $2,000 for side hustle. And as you can see, we blew past that as well. We received $2,548.66 in side hustle and $1,773.63 of that is business revenue, which is incredible. So affiliate marketing, we received $888.80. I took a affiliate marketing course that I'll have linked down below for you guys if you're interested in affiliate marketing. That course was a game changer and it really upped our game. So as you can see, it paid off, definitely. Etsy, this is for my Etsy templates. I received $257.11. That's minus the fees that Etsy takes out. Mystery shopping, $175.25. Coworkers lunch, $107.12. I was only cooking meals for one coworker, now I'm co cooking for two. Diet bet, I did two diet bets this month for one was $52.50 and another one was $190. And I'm currently in two diet bets that you'll see the payout in March. Capital One 360, this is the savings account that we keep our sinking funds in. And I have a referral for you guys. If you guys sign up and open a checking or savings card, account, you get $20, $25 and I get 20. So it looks like four people signed up through my link. Um, YouTube money coaching. I did a couple of coaching calls. That was one hundred one thirty-five. Ebates, $50 and 16 cents. Jamie did a lighting gig. Um, he actually worked with a local church, not our church, but a different church and needed help like learning how to use the um, lighting stuff that they received, their console, all of that. So he went and helped them out and they paid him $200 to do that. YouTube, I received $446.37, which was a record-breaking lunch, uh, record-breaking lunch, no, record-breaking month for us, which was awesome. So $446, that is from you guys. That is from you guys watching my videos, watching the ads, sharing my videos, commenting, liking, subscribing, all of that 
really helps my channel grow and helps me to increase my income so that we can hit our goals, which is awesome. And then I can reinvest more into the business, into my YouTube channel. I'm looking at getting a new camera. I currently film everything on my iPhone. And so when I hit 20,000 subscribers, I'm going to be getting a camera, which is awesome. So all of the revenue that you guys bring in with watching my ads and everything, that is going back into my channel. Okay, so that side hustle, um, $2,548.66. And then it's sinking fund transfer, we're gonna get into this in a little bit, $1,001.63. So for a grand total this month, we brought in 16,009, I'm sorry, whoo, I'm off tonight, $16,694.94. It was a incredible month. This is the most we have ever made in one month. Jamie worked his butt off. He worked two 100 hour weeks, which was just unbelievable. He barely slept. I'm really surprised he didn't get sick. He thought he was gonna get sick at one point and only lasted a day, but incredible, incredible. So um, when you take away the sinking fund transfer, it's um, $15,000. $693, which is awesome. Okay, let's see, let's get into our regular costs. So as always, tie this black down. Uh, mich Argentinian missionaries, we have friends that are stationed in Argentina, $200 to them. Leandro, the boy that we sponsor, $45. Rent stayed the same at $1610. Electric, $5214 iPhone 6622, that's for Jamie and I's iPhone, both of them. Internet went up $1.19, 7519. I realized that it went up the past couple months, so for March I adjusted this, so next month you'll see 7519. Weight Watchers, zero dollars. One of you guys signed up through my Weight Watchers link, so you get a free month and I get a free month. And that doesn't matter if you do week, um, if you do online only or if you do the, the class or anything like that the meetings, it is one month free. So I don't have to pay for Weight Watchers this month. Massage, $65. As you guys saw in my goals video, every month I am trying to get a massage. That is part of my self-care goal. Hulu, $1.11. Ring insurance, $59. This went up last year, from last year, just a dollar. That is for my engagement and wedding ring. We have that insured. Um, Jamie subscriptions, $118.87. Groceries, 163.10. We wanted to, our goal was to stay at 150, cut $50 this month since Jamie was traveling so much. And we hit 150, but I had mystery shopping that was 13.97. So because of the mystery shopping, I typically take in my grocery budget. So we did go $13 over because of that. Um, Cause I have to purchase um, a certain amount of items with the mystery shopping. Jamie eating out, 85.06, he was under budget. Jamie per diem, he was way under budget. At um, He was allocated $1,390 and he spent $773.92, which is awesome. So he was $600 under budget, guys. That is incredible. Um, Kelly eating out, I spent $31.18, so I was $68.82 under budget. Kelly pocket money, I spent $91.35. So I was 865 under. Jamie pocket money, he spent 81.98. So he was 143 under budget. Guys, can we just take a minute and look at this right here? So Jamie eating out, um, he was 14.94 under, 616.08 under, and then 143.02 under. He is doing incredible. I'm so proud of him. Now granted, he's been working a lot and doesn't really have time to shop, but, or eat out as much, but I'm so proud. So that is a huge accomplishment. We are so excited about getting the house. Um, gas, we spent 98.70. So as you can see here, here's the breakdowns of everything. So Aldi and mystery shopping um, for 163.10. Jamie eating out, Starbucks, Miller's and Starbucks, 85.06. And then here is all of Jamie's per diem. You can see some Ubers in here. Um, and then all of the stuff that he had to eat there. A lot of times he has to eat at the hotel and it is pricier meals. So you can see 34, 31, 16, 18. Um, so that all gets kind of, so that was 773.92. Kelly eating out, um, Chick-fil-A, Winn-Dixie, Cafe, and then Whale's Rib. So that was 31.18. Kelly park, pocket money, I bought a sweater at Target that says I love coffee. 
I took a um, I bought a virtual assistant course. This is from Lydia Sun. I'm so excited to take this course. Teamy face. I bought some face oil that was thirty three seventy four. Marshalls nine ninety nine thirty three. So total of ninety one thirty five. Jamie. He spent um, Amazon flowers. He did go to the grocery store and get flowers for me, which I was for Valentine's Day, which I was so glad that he did it at the grocery store and not delivery flowers. It was really cute, pretty bouquet that he got. Creative Cloud, Amazon, Amazon for a total of $81.98. Um, gas, he um, we filled up quite a few times and it looks like two times each, $98.70. And then Jamie's subscriptions were $118.87. Here is our miscellaneous expenses, um, chiropractor, haircut, eBay fee. Jamie sold a computer a while back, and so we had to pay the fee for eBay. That was $82.21. Renter's insurance, we renewed our renter's insurance policy. That was $199 for the year. Chiropractor, $20. Taxes fee was $315 that we paid our accountant. And here is the doozy. $3,940. So if you add both of these up, it's about $4,300 that we had to pay to taxes this year. And that was a really big bummer. We, our goal is to hit even with our taxes, but this is the first year with Jamie's job that we were able to figure out with our withholdings and we were not withholding enough, especially with all the overtime that he was working. So we are adjusting that this coming year and making sure that we're getting more taken out. Um, it, it really stinks. I'm so upset that we had to, um, pay this much at the end of the year. We actually got fined, I think it was like $90 because we owe more than a thousand dollars. So that is a bummer, but we will make sure that we don't do it again next year. Um, Walmart 3153, Ernie had to pay fees for Ernie 144 and Costco is $25 for a total of $4,664.18. Let's go back up to the top here. Okay, and then we also got our life insurance policies. So we got term life insurance. So mine was $202. Jamie was $305.50 for the year. So total expenses there was $10,388.50. This was an expensive month. Okay, let's get into the bottom. Debt, obviously we don't have any debt. We are debt free, but we keep this in here just to remind ourselves of where we came from. Um, six month emergency fund is staying at the same at $25,000. So let's get into our sinking funds. Jamie new car, we added $800. So in that fund, it has a total of $2,100. Down payment fund, we added $3,781.44 for a total of $27,198.88. Our goal is to add 45,000 to this fund this year. Kelly Stay at Home Fund, we added $550 for a total of $850. Christmas added $50 for a total of $101.26. Spontaneous Giving, we added $50 for a total of $197.08. Laptop Fund, we added $25 for a total of $328. Car Repair Fund, we added $50 for a total of $314. Home Repair Decor, we didn't add anything for a total of $152.49. Gifts, we did not fund that and that stayed the same at $85. Vacation fund, we added $500 for a total of $1,156.18. We are saving for our Alaskan cruise, and as of last week, we may actually be going to France and Italy in May, which is super exciting. Jamie is possibly going there for work. We are not 100% sure yet if he does go, but if he does, then I will be tagging along and his work pays for everything for him. All we would have to pay for is my flight over there, and then we would be staying about three or four extra days and taking a train. He'd be going to France, um, Monaco, France, and then we'd be taking a train into somewhere in Italy. So we are looking at destinations for that. So when we'd have to pay for that stay and that train ride and any you know food or anything like that, so if you do have any suggestions of places to go in Italy that we can take a train to, please, please, please let us know. We're kind of thinking towards like Venice or Rome. We aren't sure. So please leave, let me know down below in the comments. Um, medical didn't fund that. So it has $210.79. 
Car insurance, $300 for a total of $1,312.77. Renter's insurance added $20 for a total of $21. Phone repair upgrades, $80 for a total of $400. Jamie's desk, we did not fund this. It has $75.50. YouTube taxes, um, we used YouTube tax or taxes. We cleared that out. There was $802 in there and we use that to pay towards our taxes. So we are refunding this now, and $100 is going in that, for a total of $59,584.25. And then as you can see, this is zero, because this is a zero-based budget. So for our sinking funds, we use the renter's insurance policy, 199, and then we cleared out the taxes, one, uh, 802.63. So that is the month, and as you can see, it was a really, really high income month for us. I was so excited about the, all the income that we were bringing in. With Side Hustle, with my job, I worked a lot of overtime. Jamie worked a ridiculous amount of overtime. So I was expecting that we were gonna be able to put six, seven, eight thousand dollars $8,000 towards our down payment fund, but then we got hit with the taxes of having to pay $4,300 in that. Then we had to do our term life insurance policies, which was another 500. So all in all, we actually only ended up putting about $600 more this month than we did last month. And we made about $6,000 more. So it was a bummer, but it is what it is. And we are grateful. And you know, I think about what if we hadn't made that extra com income, then we probably wouldn't be able to fit fund our sinking funds at all. You know, we would have been able to cash flow it, but we wouldn't have been able to add any sinking funds. So I am so grateful for where we are. We have come such a long way and it's been, it's been an incredible journey. And next month is a three paycheck month. If you haven't already set up your budget, set up your budget. I do have the template for you guys. They'll be linked down below in the comments, as well as I did a video last week or on Tuesday, I think it was, of how to budget for a three paycheck month. So make sure you go check that out. I think it'll be very helpful for you guys as you set up March's budget. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye.